if not now, when? If women do not stand up and demand their voices be heard with a huge turnout in this November's election, then when? Will we wait until Roe v. Wade has been overturned and women are getting underground abortions, seeking medical attention for botched abortion procedures, and then being arrested for murder in the hospital bed because the personhood amendment passed? Will we wait until there are 30,000 homeless children in Pinellas County instead of the 6,000 there are now? Will we wait until law enforcement no longer is no longer required to protect victims of domestic violence? Will we wait until immigrants, both documented and undocumented, are being criminalized nationally? If not now, when? When will women hold the majority? Right, if not now, when? Women hold the majority of the jobs in the service sector, often raising a family on minimum wage. Politicians debate the legitimacy of weight, rape. Public education is being downsized. Women don't have choice of who they marry or who they share their benefits with. We do not have total equality for all people. And lastly, the Florida legislator puts forth an amendment like Amendment 6 that takes constitutional rights of privacy from women as it applies to both practical daily life and in the court systems. An amendment that bans private health insurance plans from covering abortion procedures even in life-threatening situations. An amendment that gives government final say in control of women's lives by giving politicians the power to say what health care choices are available to women and allows them to determine what, hap what rights a woman has over her own body. The time is now for women to mobilize, unite their voices, and vote their community and country forward. The time is now to get these re regressive politicians who add insult to injury when they spend taxpayers' time and money rolling back people's rights rather than working together to solve the economic employment <coughs> and other issues facing our, com our community and country. The time is now for women to say enough is enough. In 2012, in the United States of America, we demand nothing short of full equality, nothing short of full control of our bodies, and nothing short of politicians who represent our interests and move our country forward. I Am Choice has launched a get out the vote effort focused on women. We call it I Choose to Vote. We're knocking on thousands of doors, making thousands of phone calls, and speaking to groups throughout the Bay Area, We're registering people to vote, because we understand the choice is clear. Women will make a difference in this election and play a pivotal role in the direction our community and country move in. Let's use our vote in November to demand equality, economic empowerment, advances in our education system, and political and social progress. My name is Ayeli Hunt, and I am Choice. Thank you.